The first chapter in the Nakba came in October 1948 during the operation that the Israelis called the Hiram operation uh, in the north of Galilee. Even some of the uh, leaders of the Jewish community themselves uh, wrote in their diaries that what the Israelis did in October 1948 was not very different from what the Nazis did in the Second World War. So within nine months, half of Palestine's population was expelled. Half of Palestine's villages were demolished, and most of the Palestinian towns were wiped out. The Israelis, uh, already in August 1948, began an operation that I call Memrocide, in order to wipe out any uh, residue and remnant of the Palestinian existence in Palestine. They built Jewish uh, colonies and settlements over the destroyed Palestinian villages, quite often giving them a Hebrew name, giving a Hebrew name that resembled the Arab name of the village. Thus, Safuria became Tsipori, Lubia became Lavi, and so on. The idea was to say that these were actually ancient biblical places, and therefore this was not a destruction of village, but rather the redemption and the return to the villages. The Israelis imported 10,000 pine trees from Europe to cover the Palestinian villages that were uh, destroyed in the catastrophe of 48. Um, I can tell you, as a second generation of uh, European settler, that we don't do well in uh, the climate of the Middle East, and the same happened to the pine trees of Israel. Many of them became very ill, and where they died, the old orchards and olive trees came back to claim uh, their presence on the land that used to be Palestine. I think that once there is acknowledgement, and one, there is accountability, not only for the crimes of 48, but for the ongoing crimes since 1948, then the Israelis can ask both the Palestinians and the Arab world to accept them as an organic part of Palestine, of the Arab world, of the Middle East.